Fresh. What's up, guys? Welcome to local band Smokeout. Smokeout. Any genre from, from anywhere in the entire world. I want to hear your music. All right, what's up, A10? It's your boy, BG. I appreciate you guys being here. And uh, I get so many comments of people saying you got to see this a story of SB19 uh, from Casual Chuck. Uh, it's my buddy. We did an interview with him. Well, he interviewed me a long time ago, uh, like four or five months back. Uh, really, really cool dude. So shout out to Casual Chuck. But uh, I'm going to start checking out these episodes. So uh, if you end up enjoying this reaction to this episode of uh, Story 1, Sound Break, please first support Casual Chuck. Also support SB19. Kindly consider clicking the subscribe button to this channel. That'd be amazing. Uh, nearly 230 SB19 reactions and counting. And I've never seen this. Here we go. Disclaimer, this video is only based on my personal research. I might miss some details and it's possible to have discrepancies, but I did my best to get as much accurate information as possible. So enjoy. Hell yeah, thank you for the hard work. A lot of this footage I probably have not seen. This is called Triple, a group of talented performers and comedians from Korea you've probably never heard of. They were formed back in 1994. The only reason I think I have heard of them is when Chuck invented. told me about them. When in I was 2002, in show. one of the members made the biggest mistake of his life, which will change the entire course of P-pop history. This is edited so well. Well done, Chuck. Do you remember this song? Ken doing a backflip? It all started I've, I've with never this heard man, Jong Song Han. When he left the trio in 2002 to become an entrepreneur, Cult Triple became Cult 2. Most of their fans definitely thought that Song Han's decision was a huge mistake because the remaining members started racking up different awards in the entertainment industry. If he only stuck around, he would have gotten those awards too. But wow. this man's decision was final. He used all of his savings to build an event organizing company called Show BT Entertainment. Yep, I'm talking about Tatang Robin. Tatang noticed how passionate Filipino fans were during the rise of K-pop so he wanted to organize K-pop concerts and events that promote Korean and Filipino culture. To make that happen, he needed entertainers. A group of young people that would be part of the package of their service as an event organizer. We are talking about people who can do dancing, singing, and even act as servants. Okay, a second ago it said there was 100 people who auditioned and only 30 were picked to get to the next round. Like waiting tables and oh, assisting God, guests. This is a, this is a long so one. he held an audition and hundreds of young talents applied. 30 of them passed as trainees. They were then called Nara. Which oh, okay, okay, okay. This this is what I needed to know. So when we did a reaction the other day, it said SB19 and Nara. Na okay. Korean and there were seven country, members. And is the national tree of the Philippines. They went to multiple events together, including the fan meeting event of the K-pop group called Off-Road. I can't find, 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 make it tight, I, did I, not, I did not know that group. After numerous events, Tatang Robin saw something special when it comes to Filipino talent. He realized that some of his trainees were far too talented to just end up as small-time performers. So he decided to launch the first P-pop boy group that underwent strict Korean-type training. Out of the 30 trainees, only few have made it. Five we know. Jan Paolo Nase. He always wanted to be a performer. 
As a young dreamer, he joined several competitions as a soloist and also a member of the K-pop dance cover group called PHP. As a trainee, he was the guy who shows up early and leaves late despite juggling a full-time job as a data analyst to provide for his family. Wow. He was the first one selected due to his undeniable diligence and leadership qualities. He is known to have critically acclaimed songwriting ability, a badass rapper, and was often dubbed as a genius, but he consistently denied it because he claimed to be just a hard worker. This made him the destined leader of the group. He debuted with the name Sejin, but later changed his name to Pablo. Now that the methodical leader is chosen, they needed more members. Tatang Robin just got a genius composer in Pablo, so they needed someone who can dance. Shout out free loop. This next guy is exactly that and even more. I also didn't know his name was Stel Vester. I thought it was just Stel. Stel Vester Ahero. He was only 16 when he started competing as a dancer while studying. He was a born winner despite growing up as a bullied kid. He made performing his escape from the harsh reality of the world. He did a great job channeling the negative aspect of his life and converting it by winning multiple K-pop dance cover competitions with his group, Sayon. He is also a hard worker. He was teaching dance to kids while competing. There was a point when he worked too hard that it threatened his life due to poor health. He is a very skilled choreographer. In fact, he's the main culprit behind most of SB19's snappy and amazingly synchronized dance routines. But little did they know that dancing wasn't even his only talent. He easily became the main heavenly voice of the group because his vocals were just heavenly. out of this world. Yeah. He debuted as Stell the main vocalist, the lead dancer, and choreographer of the group. Josh Del Colin Bester. Santos became homeless at the age of 16 and it was his decision. He's had the worst childhood among the other members. From growing up in a toxic environment- Wait, 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 wait. Hold up. It was his decision to be homeless? And to being physically abused as a kid by their nanny. Oh. At an early age, he witnessed what it feels like to be a member of a middle-class family that went rock bottom in just a matter of months. He experienced getting evicted from apartments to smaller rooms. It came to a point when his family had nothing to eat but ketchup and salt. They had no permanent address. Because of that, Josh and his sister dropped out of school multiple times so they got bullied at school for being repeaters. Sometimes he would get into fistfights for defending her. Josh had enough of this so he took matters into his own hands by leaving. He became independent and started working as an internet cafe attendant. Using his own income, he took the alternative learning system and was able to finish his high school degree. Interesting that he went the computer route and Pablo was a data analyst and it looks like he's like reading data right there. He clearly had no background in performing. Not until he met new friends from the dance community which led to him meeting Stel and Seyan. They became co-members and went on to win numerous K-pop dance cover competitions all over Asia. They even met BTS during one of their winning runs in Korea. In a way, Josh was saved by Stell after trying so hard to save himself. And it paid off because after training, Josh ended up debuting as the lead rapper and dancer of the group. Justin DeJoss didn't have to audition. Apparently, he was a very good-looking guy that when he joined a talent workshop as a teenager, Show BT immediately took notice and offered him to become a trainee to improve his singing and dancing skills. Wow. He was one of the late joiners. And Just when he did, he, was he immediately saw a familiar got, face got in skill. Josh. You look familiar. Apparently, the two had a stint in performing together in a K-pop dance cover group called Zero to Hero. Hey, welcome to my world next Dang, I, I'm uh, I'm friends with a band called From Zero to Hero. Do this. It's your chat, you get up on the song. Yeah. Oh, the guy, the go higher. He hang it back and no more shit. So Justin as well wasn't new in the world of performing. He auditioned to be a part of the televised Pinoy boy band Superstar show but he didn't even make it to the live auditions. Perhaps it was fate. He didn't have great singing skills at the time. So he didn't make it? Meaning 
he didn't even show up to audition or his audition wasn't good enough to get to the televised part. It was only when he became a trainee that he improved astoundingly in the vocal department. He went on to finish his college degree in multimedia arts while training, which earned him a skill in filmmaking. He then got selected to debut as the main visual, the sub-vocalist, and the creative director of the group. He was the would-be director behind the record-breaking P-pop music video, What? and more. But that's a story for another video. At this point, Shobi T seemed to have completed the group. Four members in a P-pop group, a nice even number two rappers, and two vocalists. They were perfectly balanced, but they felt like something was missing. Perhaps someone was missing. Someone who could take this already great group of guys and push them to achieve the next level, the extraordinary level. Someone so naturally gifted that he could stand out in the presence of the already talented group of young artists. This Down venture Ken. that Tatang Robin took needed an apex, so he started the online auditions. When Josh heard about it, he was like, I know a guy. Really? Philip John Susson is such a specimen. He was so naturally gifted that excelling in sports looked like a walk in the park for him. He grew up in a church under the care of his grandparents. He was an artistic kid, so he was active as an editorial cartoonist in school. Nobody taught him to play musical instruments. Man, the he amount of research that Chuck put into this is, is out outstanding. Well done. Taught himself by just listening to the music, so he ended up becoming a southpaw guitarist. But he later fixed it as he learned more. He didn't even know that he could dance until he was forced to in order to get good grades during their school entrance. <laughs> After discovering dance, he transformed from a guy who didn't know it to someone who can fly. Whoa! Because of his raw talent, he ended up teaching dance to the entire school and continued on to form a K-pop dance cover group called Amigo 7. Apparently, his group gave Josh's group so much trouble during their early competitions because they were very good rivals. So he decided to recruit him. But Philip was hundreds of islands away and didn't have the money. What did Josh do? He shelled out for his plane ticket. With nothing else to lose, Philip went and left his previous life in the countryside. He then trained with the boys and officially debuted with them as Ken, the main dancer. So Josh paid his own money to get Philippe. Wow. The bass vocalist and the lead rapper of the group. One thing to note is that the, only thing, the, the, the one thing I've also noticed is is. They're all the they all get, get referred to as like the lead rapper. Like it started with Pablo as the lead rapper. And then it started with Josh is the lead rapper. Who, who's a real lead because rapper? They wouldn't have met each other if Tatang Robin stayed with his already successful group in Korea. Justin failed his first audition, so he didn't even bother to audition again because he thought he wasn't ready. And Josh wouldn't have attempted to recruit Ken if Show BT's training program didn't even exist. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the butterfly effect. When a small and seemingly insignificant occurrence has a rippling effect through time leading to a consequential event sometime long after the initial event, or as Google would put it, a phenomenon whereby a minute localized change in a complex system can have a large effect elsewhere. Mm. Tatang Robin's so-called mistake back in 2002 led to forming the future P-pop kings. In 2018, SB19 was formed. The name of the group my birthday, was carefully October 26th. The number 19. So wait a second. They were formed on October 26th? What the f***? That, that is literally my birthday. 19 was formed. The name of the group was carefully picked. The number 19 is the sum of Korea and the Philippines area code digits, 82 and 63. So 8 plus 2 plus 6 plus 3 is 19. SB doesn't only mean show BT. It is all about their ultimate goal for Pinoy Sound to break into the music industry, which is fearlessly represented by this praise. Sound break. So good. The, the editing that Chuck did. Alright, well it looks like we gotta we gotta check out the zone next. Reactors do not 
make very much money. We make a little bit, but not much. Wow. Give me a hell yeah. I mean, it's edited so good. Chuck put a lot, I mean, hours and hours and hours and hours of, of research into getting these clips and news articles. He got like, uh, it looked like a yearbook photo of, of Justin at one point. I think it was Justin. Uh, but it was just fascinating. I've seen when I went on Chuck's show to get interviewed, I had gotten, I, we, we watched like a little bit of this together and, uh, but I, but it's now that I can like focus and in depth, it, it's different when you're like on camera getting interviewed by somebody while watching it. But now that I can like deep dive it. It's fantastic. I learned a lot of stuff. I didn't know. We're absolutely going to have to check out uh, episode two. As far as Chuck's editing skills and putting this together, it's a 10, 10 out of 10. This is incredible. Please go follow his channel. Hopefully you guys already support SB19. Kindly consider clicking the subscribe button to, to my channel. That'd be amazing. We try to drop an SB19 reaction at least once every two or three days. Uh, if you need merch for your shows here in the States, go to mymerchguy.com. Use code LBS420 for a nice discount. Put your music into space. Get an NFT and perform there. And I know that sounds wild, but go to spaceconcert.org for more information. And finally, if you need MIDI drum tracks for your recording session or DAW system, go to drummidi.com. Also use code LBS420. Just make sure it's all in caps. So you get the 20% off at checkout. Other than that, though, guys, I am your host, BG, saying cheers. Keep blazing and peace. I'll see you next time.